so I'm in the office at Azeb, it's sort of bringing you up to speed. So if you haven't watched the previous episodes, we've done a number of things already. We have uh, welded the titanium leaf springs. It's very, very cool. And so we welded all of these uh, connection points to this frame. That, that was at yesterday's episode. We also took a drive across town uh, and welded the frame. Uh, the frames of the Azeb trikes are actually welded by pr uh, like professors of welding. <laughs> they basically ran a school where they taught welding to students, uh, like uh, going off into the workspace, and started up their own company uh, welding products. And Azeb approached them and sought, uh, sought them out and said, can you weld our frames for our Azeb products? And so they said, sure. And that was 20 years ago or more. So they're well well versed in how to put these uh, vehicles together. And so we went out there and saw them welding. One of the things that Azeb likes to do is they like to employ people from the Czech Republic. They want to be a uh, sort of a, a company that is exemplified by the idea of uh, producing locally, you know, and they're local to the Czech Republic. So that's pretty cool. Um, so most of their their frames, most of their products, most of the, all the components, most of them are produced here in the Czech Republic. Obviously, not everything. Some things are in Germany, and a couple of little doodads and whatnot uh, are in uh, probably Asia. But uh, most of it is done here. Major major stuff. So, anyways, yesterday also uh, 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 with the titanium welding, we picked up and mixed a bag of powder coating and sprayed it onto the frame so that's what we did yesterday it's pretty interesting the 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 last trike i had i actually went to germany and, and watched the process of building it it was geez i think it was seven years ago eight years ago and that was very cool but the frame itself was made in taiwan i actually went to taiwan to the, where the frame was made and i kind of saw the process of how those products uh with the other company that i worked with hp Velotechnic, was was made i wasn't watching my specific frame get fabricated in this case i saw like my specific frame part by part welded together and documented the whole process which was super neat today what we're gonna do ugh, is uh, integrate this. This is a roll-off speed hub, and you can see kind of how it works there, and I'll shift it. I'm not gonna play with it. Anyway, this is this is the roll-off speed hub, 514, and it's a pretty standard uh, speed hub for the internal mechanism to drive the rear, rear tire on a bike or a trike, in this case a trike. And I pulled it off of my last trike because it's, this is a sort of component that it sort of gets better with time because the gearing inside they're like really heavy cogs and those cogs a lot like the like the sh clutch on a car is designed to shift between gears and they're very like milled to perfection when you buy it and as you start to use it the first thousand kilometers or so it starts to wear slightly and that initial wearing actually is helpful to make the uh, hub run a little smoother. They say you sort of got to break them in. So this one's already been broken in and it'd be kind of nice to carry over some stuff from the old trike and bring it onto the new trike. And this was definitely something that would help help the process. Plus it's pretty expensive. This is like a $1,500 add-on, if not more. And um, why not pull it off the old trike and carry on some of the old tiger duck into the new, the new ride. Beyond that, uh, we also have this from the old trike. This is my planetary drive. This would go up front and uh, hug a chain ring. This is, this was my old chain ring. This is way, way too big for the trike that I'm actually gonna be riding on from here because the rear wheel on my trike is a 26 inch. And so the torque differential is a lot different from a 20 inch tire to a 26 inch tire. So that front chain ring that's so big uh, is way too many teeth anyways. Uh, beyond that, the internal drive, as compared with uh, paired with a roll-off, it's not really recommended for the type of trike that I'll be riding. So we're going to actually ditch this, which is really a shame because Schlumpf has been with me for a very long time, and I pulled this off of the old trike um, in order to use it. But when we sat down a few days ago and talked with, uh, Hansa and he talked with his en engineers, he's like, we would much rather you go with something a little bit more safe 
and standardized and that's going to give you the the gearing range that you need and you're not really going to want for much so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna send this uh we're gonna get it rebuilt here at schlumpf and then we're gonna send it to meet the frame of my old trike in australia i'm gonna send this to my my friend mark so he can pair it up with the original trike and and sort of uh, make sure that my trike is in Australia. The the first trike, version number, well, sorry, version number two. The first trike I rode, <laughs> I got run over by a truck. So that was, that was fun. So yeah, the other things on the old trike that I brought were these stand-up bars. These are bars that would go on to the left and right um, frame stanchions that go off to the tires. And I used to mount all of my video cameras and stuff to these. Well, first of all, these, this curvature is designed to go on my frame tube. <laughs> There's no curvature there. So they're not, they're not designed for the trike that I'm, I'm getting. And so uh, that's one. Two, um, ASAP actually has a design for these uh, that, that is designed into the, the, the trike I'm getting. So these are going to go off to Australia as well and meet up with Mark. Another thing that I really liked were these uh, side view mirrors. I actually pulled them off the old trike. I was going to integrate them into the new trike. But you know what? They also go on a, a section of the frame that would not work with this new trike. And I didn't realize it until I got it here. So we are going to send these to Australia too. So Mark, here you go, buddy. You're gonna you're gonna get some stuff. Um, the Schlumpf drive needs to be sent out to Schlumpf. It will probably uh, be ready long after I leave. So I'll leave instructions with Azub to send it to my buddy. Um, one more thing that I have on the on the trike, uh, or the old trike that I brought to the new trike, were these TRP uh, spike spike uh, brakes. And the thing I liked about these brakes, let's see here. The thing I liked about these brakes is the pads actuate from both sides, the left and the right side. Um, when I was riding around Asia, I had the standard BB7 uh, brakes and those one pad stayed stationary, any other pad moved in. So you had to make sure that the, st the, the rotor um, uh, disc was as close to this side as possible and then this side would actuate against it. And I found, especially when you're riding through Asia, you're hitting a lot of bumps and stuff. These pads can sort of move around. And what would happen was my disc would end up, um, it would end up warping. And I thought if I had two, two pads that moved equally like this, then it would eliminate that, that wobble especially when you're going downhill like in lao i was going downhill long distance downhills and those pads pads no the disc the discs were heating up so much that it wouldn't take much for them to warp um and if they were kind of pulled into one side or the other into the brake caliper um pushed against a pad uh if you didn't have them perfect uh, they would end up warping and i thought this would end up stopping and i actually did enjoy these and i have like a ton of pads and everything for them so i might as well i might as well use them well that was a, that was a, 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 a way too long of an introduction but it is what it is folks so yeah we'll catch you later